You've become an advisor to government leaders in our country on artificial intelligence. So should people be worried about artificial intelligence taking away the jobs of people who have jobs today? Or should people embrace artificial intelligence because it's going to make our life so much better? Um, I believe very strongly we should embrace artificial intelligence. The uh, artificial intelligence is not the thing that you see in the movies, you know, where the robot kills, kills the man and saves the girl. Uh, and that sort of thing. Artificial intelligence is going to revolutionize healthcare. So, for example, the doctor spends all this time looking at you, your skin, your eyes, what have you. That's going to be better done by computers, advising the doctor, the doctor will make the decision. All the evidence is that AI will be used in conjunction with people not to replace jobs. There are perhaps jobs which are very, very routine, which are better done by computers, but that process has been going on for a very long time. AI may accelerate that. But the other thing to say is that because of the demographic problems, right? Remember, we have more and more older people and fewer young productive people in terms of workforce. They're going to need to be more productive in terms of economic productivity, and they're going to use AI to do so. So if I wanted to invest in young artificial intelligence companies, should I go to China to find them, United States, Israel? Where would I find the um, best one? Yes. All of those places. Uh, yes. And in fact, we, uh, we released a study a couple weeks ago about where AI was in the global uh, scene. And there are a number of countries that are leading. There's no question that the U.S. is the farthest advanced. However, China has, as a national priority, made leadership, or at least co-leading uh, in AI, an, a huge priority for their STEM-related fields. They're producing many, many more uh, articles, patents, computer scientists, and so forth. There's every reason to think that China will be a leader as well. Now, you're the head of a commission that the Congress has authorized to study and Right. figure out what to do about artificial intelligence. Do members of Congress understand artificial intelligence? Uh, I, I, <laughs> since they hired us, let me just say that they could use some education. 